Hi folks, Tim here from High and Cheap Tech, and uh, we're shooting on the Guma Digi Power uh, 5150, and we'll shoot everything on it. Check it out. See how it looks and compares. Hmm. Hmm. So, all that being said, let's do that intro and I'll be right back after this. All right, kids, Tim here again. I'm back. So, today, arriving on time, is this case that I ordered on Amazon. After looking like an hour and a half to find it. Uh, from Shen Z. And uh, without ever opening the case, you'll see some differences here. Mm-hmm. Comes up and says, Russian case. It's okay. <coughs> but you'll, yeah. Without, without looking at anything, you'll notice the whole camera area is one big hole. And this hole looks a little bit bigger. So we're going to check it out, install it, unbox it, whatever you want to call it. Here we go. So, man, it's kind of rough. Got a nice Ziploc bag it comes with. And we get things, nothing extra. So I've got them. Get out of the little bag. Zip locked, of course. <coughs> Making my life super easy. But it's neither here nor there. He doesn't care, do you? Nope. Probably not. I hope not. It looks very similar to the original. For a few items. Notice those bumpers at the bottom. So we're going to slip the phone into it. Somehow. Well, we're going to do that first. And it looks like. It looks like the front might wrap around a little more. So let's check it out and get it in there. Much more of a matte finish, by the way, on here. So let me get it on the phone here. And I shall return. So, folks, Tim here. I'm back. I'm going to have to give you a little tour of the phone uh, on the Samsung A51. Didn't really want to pull it out and use it, but things got to be done. Now, the finish on the back of this is obviously is the fall leather. 
in no bumpers there are some bumpers here uh -huh. but there Hopefully, yeah, to protect this, something obvious here. That'll be see, it still rocks. That means the piece of the bottom still sticking out. I have to find a bigger, deeper case. And I did see the wrap around or anything on the front side is being adequate and I don't see any raising of the bar. Now obviously the cutouts are good. Everything comes in goes out like it should. Now Look from the side though. One thing is you can lay this thing on its back and for sure it'd be alright. Uh, because those cameras are set back in there a little ways. And uh, there'll be some screenshots coming up to show you things. A little better. I don't, know. I don't think you'll need them after me shooting this away. They're just too much of the bezel and the screen protector not doing its job. But oops, don't be an idiot, Tim. Hard not to do. Hmm. Huh. But the phone itself still great. And we'll process this all upon the uh, Omidigi Power 5150. I like the back cover finish a little better. It shows a lot of dust. Yeah. Mm. But it's kind of got a rubberized feel to it. And the fact that you can lay it on its back because that camera has good depth protection back there. So that's fine. That'd be all on good, but the whole reason you get one of these. You want enough lip on the front to keep things safe up front so you can uh, do your thing with the phone. Now, just thank you. Just try and turn it off there. So you can use that in screen or Green fingerprint on the back so that you pick it up. It'll always be on. You know what? Right now. There it is. No clicks, no clocks. I don't know what happened to all my sounds, but mm, who knows. Uh, that's all we got. I will process this video even though shot on the Galaxy A51. Now, undoubtedly, a fantastic camera. Just that whole storage extension thing just pissing me off to no end. So, That's all I'm gonna have.
catch you in the next one. For right now, this Shen's SD case. Well, if the rear cameras are more important to you than that front one, and you don't care about the bumpers wrapping all around and being raised a little more, it'd be all right. But I'm going to keep searching. For now, I'm going to say this one ain't worth your money. It just isn't. It was only like six or seven dollars. I mean, it's adequate, but how many bumpers on the bottom? The hell's up with that? And I've already tested the wireless charging. Works fine. You know, as you can see, we've got the magic tag, but it ain't exactly doing anything with these here bumpers to guard it. Woefully inadequate. So we'll catch you in the next one. Maybe I'll have something later tonight. Maybe I'll have found something to buy. Another case. But I'm going to continue searching. This is an okay case. I just have to say it's just not deep enough. It ain't no rinky. Let's put it that way. It gives you a heat slide sheet of paper. There's still no Side sliding a sheet of paper for this one, I guarantee it. So, uh, could you see the next one? This all will be edited on the uh, Digi Power 5150. Uh, after I move this file over to it. Thanks. Bye.